A man whose dogs attacked and killed a mail carrier last August will not face charges. That's according to the state attorney's office. 61 year old Pamela Rock died in the hospital after being mauled by five dogs in Interlochen. On your side, Cheyenne Cole explains why the office declined to file charges against Edgar Jowers. The state attorney's office says dog owner Edgar Jowers won't face charges in the death of Pamela Rock because he tried to surrender his dogs to Putnam County Animal Control before the attack and never heard back. Plus, they say he tried his best to fortify the fence the dogs escaped from. Authorities say the Putnam County Sheriff's Office and Animal Control were sent to Jowers' home on calls regarding the dogs twice prior to Rock's death. According to the state attorney's memorandum, Jowers called Animal Control almost one year before the attack, asking to surrender the dogs. They also found Animal Control officers never returned his call. After an incident involving the same dogs that attacked a man in February 2022, the sheriff's office told Jowers Animal Control would follow up with him. Animal Control told the state attorney's office they never received a report about it from the sheriff's office. Canine aggression expert Jim Crosby says animal shelters across the country are full all the time, and that may be why animal control staff didn't respond to Jower's request. Especially in a place like Putnam County, which frankly their, their shelter is challenged as far as the physical ability, the physical site, and they're unfortunately uh, pathetically funded. Jowers could not be reached for comment and chairman of the Putnam County Board of Commissioners Larry Harvey did not respond to our request for comment. Reporting in Putnam County, Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News, on your side.